Hey friends, hello, my name is Terry, and you are um, on my channel of Getting Back to Healthy on WW or Weight Watchers um, with me. And today I am recording a collab that will be coming out Sunday at 9 a.m. And Recipes with Roy is hosting this. Thank you, Roy, for doing this. And it is called Dessert Snacks Treats along that line. So my take on it is is that I'm going to do a what's called a butterfinger um, dessert and with this this ingredients I will when I flip it over I'll tell you all the ingredients but it's super simple and my ingredients I'm all using for it will make a 9 by 13 it will be 15 servings or 9 points for all everything that I'm using now today I am only going to make half. It is still the same points, but I'm only going to make half because it's just Jerry and I. And truthfully, I don't need this dessert in my house of 15 servings. So, but anyways, um, in the description box, there will be um, links to other channels that are participating in this. So please make sure that you go check them out. Say, hey. Um, if you're not following them, please give them a thumbs up. And um, if you like what you see, please most definitely subscribe to them. Share them out to your friends and family. And the same here. If you have never um, been to me before, please like and um, comment, subscribe, do all the good things. Because <clears throat> I post daily vlogs. I show you snippets of my day and I also show you my food. So anyways, I am going to pause this and then I will get to making this dessert. Okay, friends, you won't see me, but you don't need to. You're here to see the dessert. So this dessert is with angel food cake. I have my um, three quarters cup of skin milk in here. I am using um, sugar-free, um, fat-free vanilla Jello. It calls for butterscotch, but we cannot find butterscotch, so we went with the um, vanilla. It takes a whole tub. If you're doing the half, it takes a whole tub. If you are doing the full recipe, it takes a whole angel food cake. It takes a cup and a half of your milk. It takes a small package of Jello and two of your Cool Whips. And then it takes, for the full recipe, eight of your fun size Butterfingers. But for us, we're doing four. And you just pound them up for your topping. So I have my dish right here. This is my Rachel Ray dish. So the first thing that you do is you tear up all of your angel food into pieces. You take your jello and I'm just going to dump it in here. Then you whisk in your milk. And mix that up. And because it's you know pudding doesn't take much. And this is what it's going to look like. Then you're going to open up your Cool Whip and you're going to add it to the um, pudding. This looks so good. You can do so many desserts with this, um, with angel food cake and everything. I should have taken that out, but oh well. So you're just going to mix this all together. This is what's going to give the um, volume to this. Now 
Now the recipe says that um, once you get it all layered, it's kind of like a lasagna where you do half of your um, angel food cake pieces on the bottom. Then you put your Cool Whip pudding mixture, half of it. And then you put half of your crushed Butterfinger candy. And then you just repeat. So, so far, this is what it looks like. Let me check and make sure. Yep, you guys can still see. So, I put my four pieces into this baggie and I just took the rolling pin, but you can use whatever just to crush it up finely. And um, that's what I did. So now I'm going to assemble it. So I am going to take half of this I think we got quite a bit of we got a big enough pan here and then I am going to take half of the pudding mixture Mr. Jerry picked this pan out but I think that it's way too big is it recording okay yep. All right, so I went, or Mr. Jerry came out and he helped me. We needed a smaller pan for this. So I got this all spread out like this. And then I'm going to take my mixture of crushed Butterfinger over the top of this. And you know that butterscotch would probably make it taste even more so of a Butterfinger. But oh well. But you have to use what you got to use. It already looks really pretty. Then I'm going to top the rest of my angel food cake on here. Now I've done angel food cake with um, berries and Cool Whip and... Um, that was my last collab. We do these collabs. Well, this is like my third one, but they've been doing these collabs for a while, and they do it on the third Sunday normally of each month. And then I'm just going to put the rest of this on here. Now, it does say, the recipe does say that you should... Um, let it chill in your refrigerator at least two hours before tasting it. And I will do the I will do that. I will put it in there for two hours. And then um, you won't be waiting for me. I'll just be a few seconds for you, but we will then do a taste test for you on this. And it looks so good. And Butterfinger candies are my kryptonite, so that's why I can't have so much of this in the house. All right. I want to make sure I get all this goodness out so and then the last part and I think this part comes in of getting all the goodness out is from my grandma and Jerry's mom if there was anything left in the dish you were wasting it so <laughs> all right and then I am just going to should have Jerry come out and lick the spoon. I'm going to put the rest of my Butterfinger topping on this. I should have told you my hands have been washed and clean. There 
There you go. So this right here will go in the refrigerator for two hours and then I will come back and I will um, have show you what it looks like on the inside and I'll have Mr. Jerry do a taste test for me. Hey friends, it's been three hours because Mr. Jerry's been working, but this is what it looks like a serving size. We've got six servings out of this and then Mr. Jerry's gonna hold up the pie. All right, so Mr. Jerry's going to do a taste test. I am? Okay. <laughs> okay, let them see you so they can. That one was okay, but the next one might be different. So what do you think? It's good. All right, so this is his. So, um, go ahead, you're fine. <laughs> Thanks. So anyways, this is what this dessert turned out to be. I definitely will be finding um, butterscotch, but you can see how well that's set up. But we, get, we could have probably squeezed eight servings out of this easily. So anyways, thanks again, Roy, for hosting this. And it is summertime sweets and snacks and thank you for watching um i will link the recipe from the youtuber i found it on she did this probably four years ago but she's still doing stuff so i will link it in the description and please make sure that you um, click on everybody else who's participating and see what they're all doing and if you make this let me know tell me how you liked it liked it or not so with that, I'm going to let you go, and I hope that your um, a Sunday is a great one. Thanks, friends.